Welcome to the game. So for the last few years, uh, Corvus Belly has some great bundles at Gen Con, and it's generally my first stop. Uh, this year's Operation Cold Front bundle came with the Advance Pack and the Dart model, which you can use in both Infinity and Aristea, so they gave you the card for that as part of the bundle. Um, it's a two-player starter box. It comes with uh, the new Ariadna Sectorial, the Russian uh, faction, as well as the new uh, Aleph uh, Sectorial Army. So uh, I just started an Ariadna Army and uh, Garrison had just started an ALF army, so this two-player starter box worked out great. Um, as well, we picked up the uh, cold front uh, camo markers, uh, just because I had them available and they were exclusive to this box set. So let's get these under the camera and take a look, see what's inside. There we go. All right, let's get this thing opened. Now this does have the limited edition uh, War Driver Mercenary Hacker in it. Um, so let's get this open and take a look. All right, we've got our cold front manual. This is a pretty beefy manual. Now, it usually has both English and Spanish in it. Uh, so it's like half of it's English, then you kind of flip it over and you get the uh, Spanish side to it. And our tokens needed for the game. Um, so, very cool. Take a look at that. So, rule book, beautiful color, very well done. Uh, as Corvus Belly, they keep getting better and better with every new release that they do. Uh, descriptions of the different units, the how to play the game. This is the neat thing about these two player starter sets there's enough models to get you going, um, as well as it takes you through the basics how to start playing the game and by the time you're done you'll know the majority of the rules uh, for what the models that you're using um, and then it gives you the uh, unit list for each one very cool lots of color oh, i like that um, talk a little bit about the other ones nomads yay nomads um, Different books, the ITS, Aristea, another great game if you have not tried that one. Uh, futuristic sports game in the Infinity Universe. Um, and in the center, I had a paint. Uh, we'll probably do I had to paint one of these at some point. This is a uh, much more detailed than what we do. We go for tabletop. These are really nice by the time you're done with them. Um, if you have not looked at uh, Angel Geraldo's uh, Masterclass books, they use a lot of Infinity models in those and they're excellent. Um, and like I said, and then the other half of the book is Spanish. So, you know, you're coming in at about 47 pages. That's not bad for a two player starter box that's gonna teach you how to play the game. Um, all right, let's put that aside. And let's take a look at the dice. So the dice are faction specific with your um, Aleph as well as your Ariadna and somewhere as soon as I can find the one there it is the Ariadna symbols which is cool because if you bought any of these other starter boxes then you can actually see the uh, you'll actually get three dice from each faction so if you bought the other starters you'll have the other Ariadnas you'll have the uh, Nomads, the Pano, you know, the Hak Islam, the Yujing. Uh, very cool. Uh, the models 
Uh, let's see which one we want to take a look at. Uh, really, the Ratnik model, that's the new big machine, is the one I'm looking at, but they're in multiple parts. Here he is. Looks like it's these two bags. Uh, these models are very well sculpted. We're having issues with our cat at the moment, or one of our cats. I think she wants to be on film, or he wants to be on film. This is a boy. Right now he's climbing up around the lights. Um, you've got 14 models in this box, uh, seven for each, plus the uh, new, uh, plus the, the mercenary hacker. Um, but this is the Ratnik, this is the new big model. Um, that's on there you really see the detail not too much flash for a model that size uh, I'm not gonna take all the models out but I mean it's if you've looked at any of these you'll know that their uh, detail is is exquisite and they do all metal I don't think the only thing the only thing they've ever done in plastic is the Aristea models um, I don't know if they've done plastic in anything else before train that comes in the box now this is really cool too because you literally get everything you need to play a game of infinity in this box uh, including the map uh, as well as uh, the different terrain pieces so if I can get uh, I really like these the, the purplish hues are really nice these just fold up literally um, if you've never put one of these together they are super simple to build and now these are the older design they had a newer design of these buildings with uh, red veil in which you had bridges and stuff but it looks like these have gone back to the older version um, this will actually bend backwards like so and if I can actually get it to go down just like so you have the basics of a building now I'm doing this very rapidly on camera so therefore it will never work correctly Do that. Fold this guy down. Literally, just like that. Now, there's another video that some guys put out that they show you how to hot glue these things together, and you can really make them super sturdy, uh, which is really cool. We've done that with some of ours. So, uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember who did that, but. They are, did a really cool video on how you use a foam core and stuff, but there you go. <clears throat> and then you get some boxes to go with it, and these, again, put together very simply. Uh, you know, it's just a simple tuck box. Now, again, these are light. You can weight them down with something inside, and there you go. And that's basically what you've got there. And then, of course, it comes with, and here's your instructions on how to put those together. They're pretty self-explanatory. And then the actual 
map to play on, which is really cool. So there's the map, and on the other side of the map is the box. So if you don't use the map, this makes a great poster to put up on the wall. Um, they do this with all of theirs, so really cool. Uh, I'm anxious to get this built. Uh, okay, so that is the two-player starter box. Um, very quickly. Um, the other thing that came with it was the advanced pack. If you bought the bundle, then you really had to pay for the bundle. Uh, and this was the uh, convention exclusive pre-release, which will have um, which will have the Aleph model as well as the two um, Ariadna models. Um, and again, very nice detail. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time showing off all the metal. I mean, it's it's metal, it is what it is. Uh, but those are the models you're gonna get. I'll show you some of the detail of these models so that you can actually see, especially what the uh, antipode looks like. And a little bit of flash cleanup, but the detail on these guys is just insane. Uh, really good, they paint up so well and so easily. And then there is, and that would be the cat again, playing with the light fixture. Let's move that one to the side. And here we have the uh, Recon unit and her different pieces. Great detail on these things. Um, it's really nice. And last thing we have the Asura from the ALF. This model is just gorgeous in the pictures. Uh, so can't wait to get this one put together and paint it up. So again, there's some cleanup that has to be done, but it's metal, so clippers and uh, you're good to go. Um, all right, and if you weren't aware, some of these boxes that come with uh, that come with the uh, your uh, games because these boxes actually fit underneath these buildings like so and will help make these much more sturdy so <laughs> a little camera adjustment there um, so put those boxes hang on to those when you do that so I don't think we had the camera on there so basically these boxes are the perfect size designed that way on purpose to fit right underneath these buildings um, so save those boxes use them in your uh, Use them to help make your uh, buildings more sturdy, and, and that's a whole lot better than just standard cardboard by itself. Give it a little bit of weight so it doesn't move around on the table as much. Um, so, last thing, or not last thing, but we want to take another look at, or one thing we want to take a look at is Dart. Let me get these out of the way. Um, now, Dart is the uh, convention exclusive model that if you did not. If you don't get in it at one of the uh, conventions, you are not going to get it. Um, and she comes with, uh, of course, you know you have all the different pieces to the model, but she comes with her Aristea cards um, as well as her exclusive card that you will get. If you were to pick her up so the exclusive card is this one here 
and then you get her cards if you play Aristea. You get her cards and everything you need is there so that you can play her in the game Aristea. So let's take a look at the cold front uh, camo markers. These uh, they had at the counter said, hey, do you want the camo markers too? And I was like, oh, sure, why not? Um, so these are really cool. I don't know how well they're going to show up on the uh, black table. But if you can't see them, I guess they're doing their job because they're camo markers. Uh, but those are different markers. And they have their bases to go along with them. Uh, but these are really cool. Very nice. Uh, very nicely done. <clears throat> And then all other bases to go with them. So there you have it. That is the Operation Cold Front two-player starter box, the Advance Pack, as well as the Dart model. And like I said, we just picked up the uh, Cold Front camo markers. Um, great stuff. Can't wait to get it on the table and start playing once we get everything built and painted up. Uh, so. Thanks for watching. We will put links to uh, Infinity the Game. Uh, if you have not been there before, I suggest you go there. It's a great game. Uh, like I said, we've barely scratched the surface of it, and we are looking to do a lot more. Uh, Infinity the Game, we'll put the link down below. Uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think of these videos, and we'll be back soon.